am Clara. Last week, I got an inquiry from the United States. He said that recently his protective lenses are kept burning and cannot figure out the reasons. Today, I will share his problem and solution. If you are facing such a similar issue, probably the video will be a guidance for you. Before getting into the main chapter, please don't forget to subscribe to this channel and give me a like. It helps me out a lot. Thank you for your support. Let me make a brief of the problem first. Our first negotiation is on 3rd March. It's a 1500 watt tube cutter with a BT240 retool scanning head. The cutter has been working for more than four years. He replaced the laser source just a week before. He came to me and shared the right point, saying that although the machine is capable of cutting, the protective lenses had been kept burned. Let's check the red point here. In it, we can see there are black spores. Actually, an experienced engineer will see clearly that the lens has been burned, but only from the picture, we cannot tell more details. If you need to know more on the protective lenses, please click the video up here. When we have protective lenses burned, First, we need to make sure which side is burned. If it's the lower side, probably is due to the cutting residues splashing on the lens. In this case, the burned spot is at the top side. Pictures are reference to take number one, is the right point when the protective lens is in. Number two, is the right point when the protective lens is moved out. In this case, the red point without the protective lens is shown here. We can see several clear black spores in it. It means the upper lenses are also burned. It could be the focus lens, collimating lens, or even the connector of the fiberware. So I offered him a simple solution to run the check. Based on the check, he finally found that both the fiberware connector and the collimating lens are fine. From the after inspection, which we can find the video here, he gets a clear vision on the lenses. It turns out the focus lens is burnt out. Sure, if we find the problem, we also need to figure out why it happens. Let's see the lens sections in the cutting head. From top to bottom, it should be collimation section, focus section, and the lower protective lens. From the burnt position, which is at the focus lens located at the middle between collimating lens and protective lens. So the reason why the lens is burnt probably is due to the dust entered the middle of the focus lens and the protective lens which is most likely due to the fact that the environment was not clean when we replace the protective lens. At last, I would like to restate the possible reasons for burnt protective lenses. First, there are black or white dots at the lower side of the lens. The first reason could be the power of the machine is too large, which also means the model of the protective lens may be wrong. So please examine whether protective lens is qualified for the machine power. The second reason is that the auxiliary gas is not turned down or no gas at all. So please check whether the gas is running normally when the machine is working. The third reason is that mental slags go up to the inner of the height during the cutting process and enter the lower cavity of the protective lens. This means that the pierce or cut parameters were set not very accurate. 
which leads to the slacks, especially when we cut thicker plates, like more than six millimeter, the thicker the mental, the longer the pierce time, the more possibility of slacks. That is also why compared with cutting thin mentals, there will be more conception of the protective lenses for cutting thicker plates. The fourth reason could be there is water or oil on the lower surface of the protective lens. It means that there is a problem with the auxiliary gas. Please check the purity and the filter. Second, if the burnt dots appear on the upper layer of the lower protective lens and there is no other contaminant, it may be related to the humidity of the air, but is usually caused by the large difference between the temperature of the water chiller and the room. And it usually occurs in summer. That is, the temperature of the water chiller is lower and the rooms high. If you need me to offer service, no matter it's laser cutting, laser marking, or laser welding, please feel free to write to me. My contact information is over here, or you can also find my contact in the description below. Both WhatsApp and mail are super fine, but I need to explain myself. Not all services I am capable of are free. Like this personal check is not free. Hoping you can understand. Thank you for joining me today. I will see you next Tuesday here on my YouTube channel. See you. Bye.